हेलो हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ गौरव मदान आल्सो कॉल्ड एज कोड्स टेलर सो आई जस्ट गॉट टू नो दैट डॉट नेट सिक्स इज आउट ऑन नवंबर एट सो आई डिसाइडेड टू एक्सप्लोर अ लिटिल बिट ऑन व्हाट इट इज एंड व्हाट चेंजेस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हैज एक्चुअली डन Uh, I'm not going to go very deep in this tutorial uh, or in this recording. I'm just trying to explore what it was and what it is having. One of the things that I'm seeing here is now .NET 6 SDK is having the ARM 64 uh, architecture SDK as well, and I'm using Mac M1, which is uh, based on ARM 64. So I have installed .NET SDK. I have uh, installed this ARM 64 and Here in my terminal, you can see uh, when I do dot net, I can have a version. I can see dot net six point zero. I have installed. So let's check out uh, what it has. Uh, uh, real quick. First of all, let's do dot net and let's see help. Oh wow! So we have a couple of commands that we can try out. and if i see here we have something called as new which is used to create a new project file and we have here something called as framework uh, which is which lets us know uh, what framework we want to create so let's create real quick dot net and new and i'm going to create a console application let's make a new folder saying my console app and let's check it out so it is creating a console application here mm, let us check it out so let me do a cd into that cd my console application and let me do a code dot oh wow so i just realized that microsoft has removed uh you know uh, a namespace here it has removed the using statement and there is only one line that is console dot right line hello world so let's check it out cs proj this is interesting because microsoft has enabled the implicit usings and this is the target framework net 6.0 and uh, let's check it out whether or not it is working so i'm going to save it let's let me clear the console and if i say dot net run it should say hello world yes it is working uh, real quick let's check out uh, what we were having in dotnet 5 uh, so i'm going here I'm going to go dotnet new console and i'm going to say framework net 5.0 and let us open it in my console net 5 app so let us check out the folder it says my console net 5 app and if i do a code here let's check out so here if i see the program.cs you can see here we were having a using statement a namespace and a class program however in dotnet 6 we are having nothing but a single statement uh, writing console dot write line hello world right uh, what does that mean we'll explore more on that uh, however for now we just need to understand that in dot net 6 microsoft has given an attribute there uh, using the implicit usings enabled here we don't see that it is just a dot net target framework uh, 5.0 so if i go to dot net 6.0 which is this one so you can see your implicit usings is enabled which is really interesting because now you can write namespace like this namespace and uh you do not need to give a uh, curly braces like this how you can simply give it a namespace say uh, code teller dot console app right and you can simply give it a control s right so now that you can see here it is complaining about it we'll explore more on it later on for now let's ex uh, let's explore more on what it does it has apart from this console application so i'm doing a, a cd dot dot 
writing dot net new let's check out what do we have in the web app so if i say dot net new hit enter it gives me couple of options here of creating a web app creating a razor based app creating a console application win forms and wpf let me explore on dot net new web app and this time i'm saying my web app all right so let me quickly check cd my web app so if i go here do a code dot you can see here microsoft has now make this application pretty small and everything is uh, like right here which is simply creating a instance of the web application and i can simply hover it to understand more it creates and initializes a new instance of web application builder and then it adds the services to the container and then it builds that uh, web application right here and it has done the development environment configuration which means you are already set for creating your application and making it work on different environments and let us explore on the pages so it has already created a wow so here we have something called as page model so microsoft now allows you writing uh, razor pages and the page model concept where uh, similar to code behind file so we have a cshtml file here which is calling a model error model here and you can write your you know uh, get put post restful request right here so let us try running it and see how it looks dot net run cool so it is running my application on the port 7069 by default on https let us check it out real quick awesome so it has pre uh, predefined bootstrap let us try making some change uh, so if i go here and if i go to index.html let us change make a change saying h1 Oh, welcome to code stellar's tutorials all right so i'll do a control c and dot net run and this time if i go here if i hit a refresh I'd, it says welcome to code stellar tutorials and if i make a change and then i hit a refresh you see here there is no change happening so if i say control c and write dot net watch so this time it has enabled hot reloading which means if i'll make any change it will take immediately so let us uh, let us real quick make a change in the code saying uh, new change i'll hit save and i'll go to my console application it says hot hot reload of changes succeeded and if i go here it has i have not hit a refresh and it is taking a new change we'll explore about blazor app fin forms and wpf forms in my next video till then keep watching thank you so much